Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be talking about stainless steel brake lines, uh, why you might use them, and why rubber isn't such a bad thing. And first off I'd just like to give a shout out to Carpart Kings for sending parts to use in this video. You can check out relevant links in the video description. And so there's three main reasons why you might use steel braided brake lines rather than rubber. Uh, and so the first one being it looks nice, but honestly you have to take the wheels off in order to see it, so who really cares? Uh, the second one being it resists tearing and damage. Um, so, you know, if you're going off road and you've got lots of rocks getting kicked up, it may be helpful uh, in preventing those brake lines from getting damaged from those rocks, uh, the stainless steel and protecting it, uh, protecting that line. And then the famous thing that everyone talks about when it comes to stainless steel brake lines is that you have a firmer brake pedal feel. So let's talk about the theory behind this third part uh, and explain why that is. And so basically here we have our brake line right here. And here we have our caliper, and so this is in blue, the piston, and then the housing is in black, and then you've got your brake pad in green. So before pressing the brake, you can see the pistons all the way in, the brake pad hasn't been pressed out. Now here's your rubber line when you press on the brakes. So this is the idea, and of course this is exaggerated. So as you press on that brake pedal, the fluid in that brake line forces that brake line to expand. So you have more volume that can now fit in it. And so by expanding that, you're not necessarily putting that much pressure on the piston itself. And so it'll take longer before you can get to the point where this is expanded as much as it can. Uh, and then this is pressing with the force that you desire on your brake pad. And then the idea with the steel line is that it has this Teflon core and it can expand. So as you press, you get instantaneous feedback uh, as you press in the pad. So looking at a steel braided line, you've basically got four main layers. You've got the Teflon core, which as I mentioned, it won't expand. You've got a protective layer between that and the stainless steel, so that the stainless steel braid doesn't damage that Teflon core. And then oftentimes you'll have a layer on the outside uh, to protect the stainless steel, and so that you don't, uh, you know, it's an abrasive material, so if it comes into contact with something, it's nice to have that coat on it. Uh, so the ones I'm showing, these have a clear protective layer on them, and so that's just so that the abrasion isn't bad uh, if it comes into contact with anything. So why is rubber so common? Why does pretty much everyone use rubber? Well, it's cheap and effective, and it really is effective. It's not bad really in any way. Also, you still can have a firm brake pedal feel. I've driven all kinds of cars, all of them with rubber brake lines, and some of them have very firm brake pedal feel. Some of them have a, a lot of travel with not so firm of feel. So it can definitely be done uh, with rubber regardless. Um, you know, there's so much more that goes into brake feel than the lines themselves. It plays a very minimal role in it. Uh, and also, rubber lines will often have an internal nylon weave, and what that nylon weave is there for is to prevent these rubber lines from expanding. So they're actually pretty rigid as is, and they're really not going to expand much. I mean, this is an, a huge exaggeration of what it would look like. Um, the people saying that they're super, super soft, they probably never actually held one. Um, they're, they're actually pretty firm uh, objects, so you know, you're not going to get a lot of expansion. Maybe a little. Maybe, you know, at the microscopic level, there's something to be seen there, but honestly, they're not like these balloons that you're just attaching and putting a fluid through. They're pretty rigid, pretty strong lines. I mean, they've got to house your brake fluid. They have to maintain really high pressures. And so, you know, they're going to be a quality part, uh, even if they are made of rubber. Also, another big advantage of rubber is that they are easy to inspect. Uh, so you can just simply look at the rubber, see if there's any cracks or tears in it and things like that. Whereas with the stainless steel, if you get a tear in the Teflon core, you're not going to be able to see it because that stainless steel layer is going to be covering it up. So it can be much more challenging to determine where the failure is in a steel line versus at a rubber line, you can just see the tear in it. Oh, this one's bad and you replace it. Either way, it's not a big deal to replace a brake line, so it's not the end of the world. Uh, but it is easier to inspect uh, the rubber brake line. And also the rubber is not abrasive. So, you know, if the rubber comes into contact with something, Something, it's not going to kind of start to wear off that part over time and hopefully it's not going to wear the rubber itself uh, whereas the stainless steel you know if it comes into contact with something frequently it can start to wear it down so thank you guys for watching and if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them below